Hi, Richard from OnSite Solutions here. This video is going to be on templates. Uh, so I'm going to first of all create a template of this uh, little bit of software that I've done here. Um, and then I'm going to deploy the template. And uh, we should be able to watch all these links, um, all these external links from the template connecting. <coughs> so um, the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, copy it all, or cut it actually. So highlight the whole bit of strategy I want to make the template of. Do a right click cut. Uh, create a new folder. And then uh, go into that folder and paste the logic into there. So what's happened there is um, <clears throat> it would have kept all these links. So I've got um, <coughs> all these links are still going into the folder. If I follow these, you can see now um, I'm in my pump demands folder. So they're all still connected to uh, the same components, all these links. Um, and now I'm going to make a, a template of this folder. So uh, I'm just going to right click on it and uh, right at the top there we've got make template. Uh, what's going to happen now is it's going to open up a little mini, uh, miniature tabulated area. Um, so, we're, so what we got here is a file name in the underneath the first tab, uh, which will be the name of the template underneath my file system. So this is where it will go once it's created it'll go underneath this template, and it will be called Pump Demands. Uh, the title is uh, the, the name of the template, so that that's how it will be displayed in my list of templates. So if I call this a uh, um, new template, just so you can see, uh, it's going to be different. Um, and then I can give it a vendor name. So I'd give mine my one site solutions. And uh, if you change this template in the future, you can um, you can version it. Um, you can change this to ready. And it will ask you to change the version. Uh, you can put some descriptive information down here, which is uh, obviously very useful sometimes. Um, okay, so in red here, it's telling us uh, that it's found that there's external links to this template, and the template I/O, this area here, um, have automatically added some tags. So if we go look at that first, you can see here these are all my external links. Uh, and so this is my uh, feedback for my, so this has been my pump flow feedback. And if you look down the bottom right here, it's telling me what tags are connected to it at the moment. So uh, the, the component that this is connected to has some tags on it, and it's 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 gone and fetched those tags and put them down here. So I can um, double click on that and change that at this stage if I want to. But um, if I leave it the same, then I know um, they're the right tags. Um, so, uh, so it's telling me um, about my inputs here. I can change the name of these. So this is my um, frost protection. This is my outside air temperature. Actually, that's going to be looking for in my T stat. Um, so I can change, rename that, and say outside air. So you can do that. Um, just changing the name of your slots, or you can. Um, you can even go down here uh, and go to user tips. So I'm back on my um, my pump DPS again. So I can type in the pump DPS. And what will happen is when I'm deploying a template, it will come up with this bit of text that I've typed in there to assist the uh, the person that's deploying the template. Okay, so this one here, build this in my ground floor. So I can type in here ground floor. Um, and this is my first floor. So then my demands. Um, check my tags are correct. Um, the other thing I'm going to have to take care of is because uh, if you look at these um, these two points here, my outside air temperature, it's got these two tags on it, and my frost protection set point. It's got the same two tags on it, but it's also got set point. 
So what I can do, if I just copy this quickly, just copy that whole uh, line there and go to my outside air, sorry, and, and then click on the, the tags there. If I paste in what I had on my set point um, user, sorry, uh, binding hints, I can change this to and not. So I can say I want this tag, this tag, but I don't want to see that tag for the for this uh, smart link to work. I could have left it the same, and it would have given me it would have found both uh, components. Okay, the last thing I need to take care of is uh, sort my outputs out because I didn't link my outputs to anywhere. So I can um, click on uh, my pump one. It's down here. Go double click on my out slot and it will populate in this area in this window. And now I just, it's telling me that the binding hints empty. If I do the same with my pump two as well, so I, I just need to take care of that. So it needs to go to my binding hints, and I, I know what tags I've already put on there. So I've put one and um, one. So I've, I've kept it very simple for the purposes of this demonstration. And so this one is obviously two. So what I've done is I've added some uh, a couple of points in my um, mob bus area. I'll show you those now. Just created these two points here, and on and on those um, on each one of those points, I've added these tags. So on pump pump one, I've added pump and one using the O namespace for one site solutions. And on this one, obviously, I've had pump and two, so that's that's why I've added these strings, and hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to go and link to those when I deploy it. Okay, so uh, you could you could have had so that takes care of this area really. So that's adding uh, user tips, um, binding hints, and how to add uh, some extra points uh, by double clicking and add it to this window. Um, you could have had, I could have had graphics in here. I don't know, on this particular template, but you can have graphics on templates uh, if you this area here sub templates is if if you've got a template within a template you can take care of that here um, they've got components so components is really where you uh, this is really my strategy here this is my the whole of my template so if I wanted to add or change anything and, and reversion it I'll do that from here I can even right click on this and uh, you know look at the wire sheet and move you know minute plate that and change things there if I want to Obviously, you wouldn't be doing that at this stage because I'm just creating a template. So uh, you wouldn't be t creating a template unless it was ready anyway. And then configuration. This is where you can add some more user tips, really. So uh, uh, what can I add here? Um, so what well, I could I could just add my uh, differential, my frost protection, just because I can't think of anything else to add there. So that's at the moment it's like I've got one. One degree differential. Uh, okay, we'll just leave it at that. So we, I'll show you this uh, this area as it comes up when when we deploy it. So all you do next is just save it, and you should see uh, down here. Yes, I've got the the template now, and it's got the the title here, and underneath my um, templates, it's got the 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 name, the file name. Okay, so now uh, all being well, this should work. <clears throat> Um, so I was just going to show you my mob bus area. If I go and look at the wire sheet here, you can see these two points are not linked up to anything, um, but they should be after I've deployed this template. So I'm going to now delete this uh, folder that I've made the template of. You can see now all those links are gone. So really, I've just got all my pseudo uh, inputs here. So now if I add this template, just drag it on from your template sidebar. <coughs> And what's going to happen now is doing a composite of the folder. And uh, so this one here is a bit of text that I typed in the pump DPS. Uh, so that's, you know, it really does assist there because this is the actual, uh, this is the name I could have changed in the, um, in uh, the temp when I was creating a template. <coughs> but that's looking for the feedback, which is the pump flow. So that's found that. It's found um, this point in my list here. So I can select it. So, okay. Now it's looking for my outside air sensor. Okay, outside I left a space where I shouldn't have done. And now it's looking for my first stage frost protection set point. 
okay there and it's found that one now it's looking for my uh, uh, building demands in A and I, I changed that to ground floor I put a user hint on that so I know it's looking for ground floor this one's the first floor it's found that and you can see all these points are linking as, as we do this um, so now it's looking for my outputs so my baller one enable and it's found the point in my mob bus area and pump one so it's found the right point so with the outputs you also have to select which in slot you want to use when you when you uh, when you choose these so you can see now that should connect here that's connected out now and there's one more to take care of which is my uh, boiler pump two. select that and give it a, a, a slot and that's it and now it's asking me for this is that little user hit hint that I'll put in there if I want to change my uh, differential on my frost protection um, so you could change that at this at this time not while you're deploying the template and this is just like a, a summary uh, of everything that is done uh, what you want to see is all black in there if there's any red that means something hasn't worked correctly so that's it really so if I go and look at my mod bus if I double click on one of these points that take me to my mod bus area you can see both of those are linked as well so it's been successful that template has worked but you can see how, um, you know, once you've made templates, you can make templates of anything, more or less. Um, you can make templates of uh, a mob bus register, you know, for a meter or something like that, uh, which might even have a graphic on it. So templates are really useful. You know, you just um, you build up a library of templates. And uh, what you'll find, if you do make a template underneath mob bus or underneath um, <coughs> BACnet or whatever, they will only work in that space and there's a, a nifty if i go to this um, mob bus point here there's a nifty uh new icon at the top this one here which will tell me about all the templates that will work in this area this is the only template i've got in the station at the moment but if there were if there was a list here and one of only one of them works on mob bus it would only show that one um template here using this icon okay well that ends uh this uh video um hope you've enjoyed it if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next one.